Okay, so today I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about using a power probe. In this case, I have the power probe three. I also want to talk about using a relay tester and a relay as a test point for the circuit. So the circuit that I chose in this vehicle is going to be for the cooling fan circuit. So this is for the radiator fan. And my power probe, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, this is power probe three, so it has a DVOM right here. So depending on where I put it, you hear that tone, that's ground, and that also means that I have a good ground connection. I got a little green LED light up. And if I go someplace with power to it, I'll get a different sound, and it'll give me a positive sound. And you can hear that sound. So you can hear ground, power. So these are great for testing fuses, because if I test a fuse, I should hear the same sound on both sides of the fuse. If I hear a different sound, that means they're electrically different, so it instantly tells me that I haven't opened up the fuse. I also have the LED lights. So these are great in a shop environment where there's a lot of noise, lighting might not be real good, and so I like that feedback. The other thing the power probe allows me to do is actually allows me to apply power ground using this rocker switch. So if I go up, I apply power, down, I apply ground, and I have a circuit breaker that's resettable right here on the side. So if I go to the wrong place, it'll actually kick the circuit breaker. I also have ground right here, so I can actually power a motor or something up as long as it's under 10 amps by this being my ground and applying power here. If I loop this together and I just kick the circuit breaker and now I hit the button, nothing happens. It says C8 tells me that, oh, I set the circuit breaker because I completed a circuit with no load. So I got to be careful. I can't let the smoke out of computers with this. But this, in conjunction with this, is a real powerful set for diagnosing any circuit that goes through relay. So there's eight different designs of these based on the relay. I've already looked to see what kind of relay I use, and so I grabbed the right one out of my toolbox. So as I go to look up which relay it is, I want to look for my cooling fan relay or radiator fan relay. And here I see one that says radiator fan. And so I'm going to grab that and see if that is the correct one. So we're going to grab that. And here's my relay. And what the relay tester does is the relay tester allows me to plug the relay into the top. Gives me test points for each of the relay pins. And then I can plug this in and see how the relay works. The other thing I might want to do is look at the circuit with it disconnected to see what I have on what pin. If you notice, I have two small pins and two big pins, just exactly like I have on my relay. The small pins are for the load circuit because the load circuit of the relay that works just the fine windings in here to close the switch for the high current circuit. So here's my low current circuit. Here's my high current circuit. So the high current circuit is what goes directly out to the fan motor. So one side of this is going to have power. The other side of this is going to have ground. So I'm going to need to turn my key on, and if I plug this in, so when I check this, I can see I have power, 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 ground. So I have one ground and three powers. The reason why I see three powers is because I have power going to the, lo to the uh, load circuit for the relay, and the computer has to ground that circuit. So we know in an open circuit, I can't drop any voltage from the load, so I'll be electrically the same on both sides. On the other hand, my switch circuit will be electrically different on both sides. So the side that's different, I have power and I have a ground. The ground is the one that goes to my fan. So if I want to see if the fan works, I can apply power to it. And my fan comes on. So. This told me a couple things. First of all, it told me I'm electrically connected to power for both my relay load and my relay switch. It also, by getting ground at the other connection, told me that I was electrically connected from ground through my fan motor all the way to the relay. When I applied power, it came on. Now, if I want to see if the relay works, I can apply ground to the load side of the relay. And I'm not going to hurt anything doing that as long as I do it at the correct place.
So what I want to do now is actually take my relay out of my tester to create an open circuit. So now I can't have power on both of these and only one of these will have power. The other one is the side that goes to the computer. That's the side I need to put ground on. So I'm going to plug this back in now. Apply ground. And it proves the relay works and the fan works. So if this fan was not working, my problem is in the computer part of the circuit. Either the computer is not turning it on because of a bad coolant temperature sensor, or it's not turning it on from a bad driver in the computer, or it's not turning it on due to an open wire between the computer and the relay. So you see here where a relay tool and a power probe really makes it very easy to diagnose the circuit. And I can do the same thing with any circuit that goes through a relay, whether it's a fuel pump, I use the blower, the fan motor in this case because it gave an audible sound. It was really easy to see what I was doing. And that's why I always say, relays are a great place. We don't want to start testing something at the beginning of the circuit and work our way through. We want to find some place in the middle of the circuit. That way we can do our testing and automatically we divide the circuit. We exclude what cannot be wrong. By excluding what can't be the problem, I don't have to test those things. Then my testing is limited to where the problem area is. So we always want to try to divide our circuit to do any testing. I hope this helped today, both in understanding how the power probe works and how I can use these relay testers to test a complete circuit that uses a relay and figure out both the control circuit, which is my low current circuit, and my applied circuit, which is my high current circuit. So again, are we turning it on? And if we turn it on, are we able to turn on the load that we're trying to control with the relay? Thank you very much for joining.